things. There's a huge difference between repeat business and loyalty. Repeat business simply means I'm willing to do business with you more than once. Loyalty, on the other hand, means that I'm willing to pay you more money, drive further to see you, put up with some inconvenience, sacrifice something so that I can be a part of what you are doing. Because of who you are, not because of what you're selling, necessarily. There's a big difference between repeat business and loyalty, and manipulation does not breed that loyalty. Fortunately, there's an alternative. There's a better way to do things. And there are organizations that are now, rather than, than relying on manipulation, they're, rather, they're uh, relying more on inspiration. And all of these companies have a few things in common. I'm going to say companies. When I say companies, if I say that, I mean organizations in general. All of these organizations have the most loyal customers. They have the most loyal employees. They can charge a premium if they want to. They are more innovative, more profitable, more recognized within their industries. And all of these companies think, act, and communicate the exact same way. And it's the total opposite to their competitors. But all of them do things the same way, and they follow this pattern. This simple model called the Golden Circle was developed by, as Denise said, by Simon Sinek a few years ago, and it helps to explain what it is that sets these organizations apart, what makes them different. And it's just a simple bullseye with three words, why, how, and what. I'll just define the terms so that we're all starting from the same place. What? Every single individual, every organization knows what they do. These are the products you sell, the services you offer, the title on your door. Everybody knows this. Some know how they do what they do. These are the things that set you apart, that make you different or special, that differentiate you from your competitors that are doing something similar. However, very few organizations and very few individuals know really why they do what they do. And it's, most organizations say, well, that's easy. It's to make money. It's not. Making money is a result. By why, and this applies to every individual and every organization, whether you are for profit or not for profit. By why, I mean, what's your purpose? What's your cause? What's your belief? Why does your organization exist? What does it stand for? Why do you get out of bed in the morning, and why does that matter to anyone else? As human beings, the way we naturally think, act, and communicate is from the outside in. We take the path of least resistance. We tell people what we do. We tell them how we're different or special. And then we expect some sort of behavior. We expect them to buy something or to vote for us or give us some kind of support. The problem is it doesn't inspire. These organizations that do things a little bit differently think, act, and communicate from the inside out. They start with why.